Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft Post Phenom episode number two. Um, last episode, we got our nice little shelter. I showed you a little trick on how to get more resources rather quickly and how to mine obsidian. And we got our first algae and we got our sapling. And we also forgot to actually cash in on the reward for the sapling. So we shall do this right now. Um, I personally like the jungle saplings, so we'll just take those. But it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Take whatever one you like if you play it yourself. And if not, that's fine as well because I plan on doing it for you. And we messed that up. There we go. Chalk oak. Just to have one of those, and yeah, let's just plant some trees here and there. You know, make it a little bit more nice around us. There we go. Uh, jungles are playing there. Maybe another one. Nope, oh, nope, that's enough. <laughs> bye, zombie, bye, zombie. Please die in the sun. There's a ghast flying around, seriously? With a creeper on top of it. Alright, um, yes, one of the things I wanted to do is, first of all, make it a little bit more quiet, turn the music on, so you don't have to hear me all the time alone. And I wanted to make everything a little bit more bright, so you guys can actually see something. I mean, you technically you were able to see everything I can see, but... Yeah, cold enough for you. Um, it wants us to make a torch, so why don't we just may do that right now? Where's my chest? Did I have? No. Okay, I didn't have any of the torches left, but I can show you a little trick. Uh, let's actually make some torches. Okay, so those are the normal torches. Um, on the bottom right, down there. You can see my meter for, well, how cold it is basically. Like my, it's like a little thermometer, and it's telling me uh, blue means basically I'm getting colder, and red means I'm heating up. Um, 37 to 38 degrees Celsius is pretty good, but yeah, uh, we don't need fries. Let's just take the uh, actually like let's take the fries because we are running a little low on food. Okay, um, and so yeah, if you're getting cold, just place some torches. If you're too hot, make sure to only have like those electrical lamps that say arrow, whatever. Um, and yeah, that'll help you. No, we don't need you. Um, and the cool little trick you can do is actually just put them into your chisel, and then you have a number of different torches that all light up the area. But depending on which model you use, they are actually not making it any brighter. Which is actually pretty good for us. Okay. Um, let's see, what else can we do? No, we don't need defense or extra lives right now. Uh, we don't have the wood for those. I suppose we can start with a little bit of farming. So what we want to do for now is get some crops. Which basically means we have to get some sticks. There we go. And four sticks aligned like so will give you crops from AgriCraft. We okay. Um, now that we did that, we get twenty more crops, and we can get a wooden hand rake or a gardening trowel. Um, with the control you can basically take a crop and place it somewhere else, but we don't really need that. So we'll actually take the handrake, which is very, very useful. Because it helps you get rid of weeds. And trust me, weeds are annoying. They can actually kill your whole farm if you don't get rid of them. So, yeah. Now that we did that, we should get to our very first quest for we. Alright. Uh, do we have some cellulose left? 
Yes, we do. Okay. Um, by aligning two silos, like, like that. No, that's paper. Um. Oh yeah, like that. <laughs> um, you get one weed, and by doing so, there you go. Next crafting task would be to turn it into seeds. And since I kind of forgot to read, um, weed was the most common grain cultivated for food before the end. Perhaps you should bring it back to the world. And indeed we should, because it's actually a pretty good food source until we don't need any anymore. And there we go, seeds. And now that we have seeds, we can chew, we, we do get another eight weed, which we can turn into seeds as well. And we do get some more food. So let's take the toast. Yeah, let's take those toasts. Why not? A little bit more food. And also, we can take the toast apart. And there we go. Be rather unlucky, apparently. But we did get sucrose. And sucrose, if I remember correctly, basically helps you never eat again. Uh, let's see, where can I show you? There, why not? Um, so if we take it... Oh yeah, right. We do actually need a little bit more than one. But if you com uh, combine eight sucrose with one bucket, you basically never have to eat again. Because you can just swim in it and be happy. Alright, um, sun's coming up. Yes, let's actually, let's get a farm going. I don't like spiders. I seriously don't. In, in Minecraft anyways. Yeah. Seriously? Get off! Aww. Huh? Don't like you. Get away. No, seriously, I don't. Go! No, 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 no. That one set me on fire. My gosh, is it just me or so? Or are there sounds really, really loud? Uh, there. Come down here, I wanna kill you. Because you're actually getting pretty annoying. No, 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 no. Whew. Oh, nice. That was actually pretty good for us. We got some steel leggings. Not much durability left, but hey, armor is armor, right? Um, yes, a farm. So I was thinking. Hello? Alright. Um, I was thinking, a farm. We should. Actually, we can get that going right here. It'll take a little while to, you know, get rid of all this obsidian, but. It should be pretty good for us. Nice little 3x3 three three area. Okay, um, I think I will be back once I'm finished with cutting this out and preparing the farm, just, you know, to save a little time for you guys. On the other hand, it's just three more obsidian, so never mind. We will do that next time. <laughs> okay. Come on, and the last piece. There we go. Okay. And now all we need is... Actually, how, where do we get... Um, there we do. Huh... You know what? That's actually very tempting. Yeah. 
little change of plans. Let me actually show you another trick that I found. Uh, first of all, we need to eat a little bit. And we need to drink. Because the little bar down there on the bottom left basically means our thirst and we were very thirsty apparently. Let's also get some of our algae because that's very good for us. You. Yeah, four should be fine. That's not too bad. There. And we got some chlorophyll, some protein. Yeah, not bad. I'm dehydrated. Oh no, don't tell me you actually count the salt water. Yep, you do. Well, dread. Okay, um, let's get another bucket going. Where do we have our... Actually, don't we have ingots? Oh, there we have our bucket. There we go. Um, yeah. Let's just... Hmm. Yeah, right there. Let's get an endless water source, which apparently counts as normal water, not salt water. Because as you just saw, salt water apparently makes us very thirsty. Which I actually didn't know before. Well, good to know. You can learn from my mistakes. There we go. Please don't make me thirsty. Ah, there we go. Of course I didn't get the endless water source right, but whatever. There we go. Endless source. Ta-da! Okay. Uh, let's get rid of you, you. Yeah, okay. Um... Is any of the trees grown? Nope, not yet. Okay, so what I want to do next is this little quest here, Farmer's Almanac, because it's important to keep good records of each crop generation. So you can pick only the best seeds to grow next generation. A seed analyzer can help you with that task. And in fact, a seed analyzer is very, very helpful. But really, I'm not doing this quest for this one. I'm doing the quest for the, um, come on, yeah, for the fertilizer, right, fertilizer. Uh, we need some of this, so, how was it, glass pane, glass pane, how to make a glass pane, no, I want normal glass, please, come on, come on, shall we normal? That's still stain. All right. Glass pane. There we go. Um. Oh yeah, right. Like that. There. One glass pane is all we need. Then we do need some cobble. Cobble, cobble, cobble. There we go. And some more planks. That's all we need. Then we need to get some wooden slabs, some cobble slab, a few sticks, and that should be our analyzer. Let's see, analyzer, there we go. Perfect. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's get rid of you. And actually, you as well. Perfect. There. And this completed our little quest here, which gives us the Agriculture Journal and Fertilizer. And we will pick the additional fertilizer as well. Um, the journal we can put in here, and now we can analyze seeds like this one. And see it has certain abilities. Oh, didn't want that. There. Let's analyze those as well because they're all one one one. There. So growth one, gain one, and strength one. Which can go up to ten. 
which then will be well basically the best possible um, we need to get this going perfect and combining fertilizer with a dirt will give us humus which oh door all right um, which doesn't need any water and will still grow very fast so by doing that we basically um, yeah uh, we saved us crafting a medoc or <sighs> I don't even know we, we basically saved us crafting any cr a gardening tool besides what we have already so now we can just plant those seeds and we're good to go they will grow automatically and we can actually get some watering later as well just to make it even better let's store the rest of this there, there, this, there we actually don't need any of those right now except saplings oh, we don't need one of those and dirt because now we should probably plant the rest of our little saplings let's actually try to get it in a, in a row there one one two three four there we go that's basically like the optimum for me can go five in between if you want to leave a little gap but since trees most of the time are five wide it's basically perfect most of the time anyways there we go one two three four five And one, two, three, four, five. Whoop, there you go. Sure. And perfect. Let's get rid of you. And as you can see, like once it picks, actually, uh, it actually picks up and growing. Like once a certain growth period for the first alga is over, you're basically set. It's like the, the whole pond will basically fill really really quick uh, let's put you in there and we got some dry glyceride I have no idea you know if I pronounce something wrong please tell me because I most likely will not know this and we'll choose the iron just because we don't need any of the others right now and we get even more of those and what they will do for us is let me show you there. So now we don't actually have any food left, besides our fries and our toast, but whatever. And this thing only gives you like one bar of food. But what it does, if you drink it, is give you full saturation for your whole bar down there. So yeah, that's amazing. As long as you have those, you're basically set on food. So we did that, that, that. We still don't have any wood. Sadly. Because we could really, really use them. Hmm. Let's see. What can we do? What can we do? Hmm. Do you give me anything useful? No. You don't give me anything useful either. I mean, technically, I suppose we could go with that one. We should have enough wood. Yeah, exactly enough. So, by aligning seven wood planks like so, we actually get a water tank. Just as the quest told us, because we need a way to collect and store water. Water tanks made from wood should do the trick for both storing water and collecting water when it rains. Yes, it does. So we get eight more of those, and especially eight wood oak, which is perfect. Because we actually need 
all of it. Let's do one. No, actually not. Okay. Uh, let's just go on with the quests. So now that we got that, we should take the next quest called Flowing Along. It would be nice to have some simple way to move the water around. Irrigation channels can do just that. They can't move the water up or down though. Which is very true. They can't. Most of the time they don't. Whoa! You're bright. Can you see that? Holy. Okay. Um, yeah, but most of the time they don't need to do that, so that's fine as well. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just do it for now. Let's go with the watering. Let's go with our farm stuff for this episode. Which it, because it's needed anyways. So three wooden planks will give us six irrigation channels. Uh, which didn't we just get six? Seriously? I need to craft them? Fuck. Okay. Well, let's just craft them three more times, I suppose. There we go. And we get some more oak wood, so I won't complain. And as you can see, we got another quest, but that's locked with trace minerals. So all we need to do is use the materials we got, we got from um, taking apart our mossy cobblestone or mossy bricks and that's fine. So we need tin, lead, I believe, silver and gold? Oh no, we need copper. Didn't need tin, so where's the copper? And that's that. We get some more cooked meat ingots. We don't need the leadstone flux capacitor. Basically useless to us right now, but we do get some cooked meat ingots, which we can switch to protein, I suppose. Let's put those away again and go on with the last quest for today, with sprinkles. In order to hydrate your farmland, you will need to create sprinklers. In the event that you want more control over what areas get watered, you will need some channel valves. Sprinklers will also increase the growth rate of crops in its radius of effect, including algae. Which isn't too bad, but we don't really need to water those. So let's just get a sprinkler. Bye. Uh, right, we need iron bars and bucket. We do have ingots already. Uh, let's just take the iron. Um, so iron bars, I believe, are yes, just like that. Oops, put it in. So we have two iron bars and bucket. If you remember, you can basically just shape the atoms like the bucket itself and not do crap like I did. And yeah, there we go. It's basically the same as with the ingots, just with the atoms instead. And now we should have everything we need. There we go, there's the sprinkler. And yeah, next it wants us to build a wooden channel valve, which we actually do need, so that's fine as well. Uh, channel valve, there we go. It's basically another ingot, one pi uh, channel and one lever. Let's get one cobblestone really quick. Yeah, change it into an actual lever first. And there we go. We have everything we need. Um, we can pick the wood, but I believe the additional iron is actually better. Because our wood, or like our trees, should be ready to grow soon. Hi there. Would you mind stepping away from my crops, please? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I believe that was a very good... Yeah, I believe we did make good progress. It's like it's starting to shape up and... Next episode we can finally place our little... Um, watering system for our crops. Maybe I will shape out the area a little bit more in between episodes. 
so you can get a better idea of what I have planned and yeah but until then take care guys bye